This is George Lake. And this is the Marydale Resort, located in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, where we'll be staying for the week and accessing the lake. This is the public landing located on the east side of the lake. It has spots for about four to five vehicles and has plenty of space to turn around. Our goal is to provide you with the best lake info on the web. You can find more info on this lake and other lakes we've fished at goldmidwestfishing.com. We are not professional fishermen, just people who love to fish. And we are so glad you're here. My name's Randy. Welcome to Go Midwest Fish. Just off the landing at Mary Dale Resort. Uh, it's right off the landing to the left there, there's kind of a really big uh, shallow bay that just slant down slowly. And then uh, coming out this way, a little bit of a ridge line here, kind of got a little inside turn, so we're just drilling a few holes to see if uh, dropping the camera down, seeing what we see. We saw a perch on the first hole over there. So we moved over here a little bit because there wasn't much for weeds or structure over there. So we'll drop the camera here and see if there's any fish. All right, we drilled three holes along here and we found that first hole we went to is the only place we saw fish. Kind of a, just a murky bottom there and a lot of sediment, not too much for weeds or anything. And, but this is the only place we saw fish, so we're gonna see if we can catch a perch here and then we'll just keep moving around the lake. All right, so that's where we're at on the lake, kind of right on the edge of where it gets a little deeper. It says it's only about seven feet here. So I thought it was a little deeper. See him? Yeah. Okay, we got one on the screen. Time to switch tactics. It's a perch down there. Just put on my littler bait. Reggie, we just went to the bait store and Reggie bought a Mickey jig. It's a little jig head with like ears on it. It's supposed to flutter around better. So we're going to see if it actually works. Hey, look, a Mickey jig. That doesn't work. All right, spent about a half hour here. Saw a few perch. I just keep seeing like four perch on his camera. We just haven't caught them. You know, they don't seem like biting. I think we're just going to go a little bit down the shore. There's a, a rock pile there. Oh, took us a half an hour just to set up. <laughs> oh. This is actually the deep hole. All right, I stopped a little short of where I was going to go because there's kind of it kind of goes into a bowl, and this is the bottom of it. It's like 15 feet deep. And there's a shack right there, and like holes all over the place right here. So people have been fishing here. So I'm going to try this spot first. Bait one right down there. Oh, sure. It's crappie? Yeah. Yeah. It's crappie down there, all right. Of course, I don't see nothing as soon as Reggie goes down there, right? It's a crappie floating around down there. Huh. I was like, ah, oh. what I was saying ah oh, was about I was seeing my bait. Oh. <laughs> and then all of a sudden there was a fish there, too. <laughs> 12 feet deep right here, actually. But it's the deepest spot in the area. Just a bare, mucky bottom again. But uh, yeah, we just. Crappy just came on through, so if we get him to come back. I don't know if they're in the mood today. They're just kind of swimming by and not really looking. Oh, there he is. Got him. Yeah, he came in and hit hard. 
little one, but ooh, ooh not too bad. Just get off. <laughs> yep. Well, first crappie got off it, stuck on the bottom of the ice and took it off. Can't tell. What are you? Ooh, what's this? Started telling the Aquavue maybe I can see better in the GoPro when I pull it up. Hmm. Nope. He looked right at it and said, nope. Well, spot two, I had that crop yawn. He came in a bit right away. And then the rest of them just kind of came in and looked. Really didn't do much. So we saw quite a few crappies and bluegills down there. And now we're going to move. There's go to that rock pile I first talked about. Oh, just looked kind of like it might be good. I want to see what's around that. on George Lake. There's a oh, rock I pile. I got a fish on him. I got a... You got a fish on? Yeah. Oh I'm no. All, I'm all tangled up here. Huh, Reggie's already got a fish on. <laughs> you want to pull him up with my thing? Yeah, here. I got this all knotted up. Hold on. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Oh, look at that monster. First fish out of the water on George Lake is this thing. I'm not pulling. It's pulling. <laughs> There you go. Reggie Glynn's first fish on a little jig and wax worm. Yeah, when I wasn't even trying to nope. catch anything. <laughs> trying to get himself unraveled there. Here's a little bluegill. Hopefully there's some bigger ones down there. A little more aggressive over here. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> oh man, you got a whole mess of these little guys down there. Well, at least they're fighting, I guess. Oh, I got that two good. of them looking at my camera. <laughs> like, where's the food, man? Give me the food. Hey, look at this. There he comes. Nope. Now watch closely as I steal this bait. Did you steal my waxy? Yeah, it's starting to uh, snow a little, get a little windier out. Somewhere like sleet or something out there. It's only it's probably about 30 degrees right now. Ooh, there, come on. Ah, they're all over down there. Sadly, I think it is. A white wax worm. A little bigger meat there. I just wanted something more, I think. There we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, that might be the biggest yet. <laughs> so far, all little bluegills. Oh, no, the bluegill. All little bluegills in this area so far. Oh, there's a bigger fish. Oh, oh, it's northern. Oh, he came up and bumped it. Oh, that's like all of them just scattered. All right, so we just had a big old northern come through. So I think I'm going to put a tip up, so outside the shack here with a sucker Probably. minnow on it. Oh, they, everything just took off. Flag's up. Is it? Yep. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First tip up of the year. There's probably nothing on it. Biggest one yet. They look so big on camera. What can mm. I say? All right, it is just past noon. Just put my tip up out there, so we'll probably stay here about another half hour. Then just probably move a little further down the lake. Oh, yeah, oh look him. at that rod bend! I got him. Come on. Oh. That'd be the biggest she one so a, far. It's definitely the biggest one.
All right, spot number four, we're right there. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. There you go. So like I said, here's that kind of a deep channel. It shows some rock structures right there. So it's kind of on the edge where it drops off. Big northern. Oh my gosh. He's gonna go over to her. Lane, and hopefully he goes over for the tip out. Oh, jeez, just had a bite. Sorry, that perch made me move over to yours. Yeah, I just looked at yours and then he bites mine. Spot four, we only saw like, that big northern, some little fish, but we didn't actually catch anything. So it's 3.30. I think we're going to go hit one more spot. Just go kind of down at the end of the lake. Maybe find a shallow area if there's some weeds. And uh, maybe get a northern or something before dark. the end of the lake and drilled a whole bunch of holes and couldn't find any good weed lines it's just kind of a flat mucky bottom so we kind of came back around where we started and then back around this other side there's like one little hump out here kind of deep and then just like one place where it rises up so right on top of that right now there's a couple holes here so i'm not the only one who thought this was a good idea <laughs> before i uh, just finish off the night here it's going to start getting dark soon so uh, i'll put down a few lines and see what we can see there's the oh ice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's the top of the weeds. Because <laughs> we're going to waste a whole bunch of time moving. <laughs> we are. <laughs> All right. We call in the weeds. We're in two feet of water. <laughs> the one time we didn't check to see yeah. how deep it was. We just set the check. Oh. Jeez. All right, George Lake. What'd you think of it? You know. I don't really have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like oh, yeah, a good there's lake. Fish. There's fish, we just didn't catch them. Everyone we talked to said it's a good all around lake. You can catch, you know, your panfish, your northern, your walleye. And pretty much everywhere we've been, we saw a fish. Just uh, not in the mood to bite today, I think. We did get, you know, a couple panfish. Uh, good thing we had underwater cameras because man i tell you if we didn't have those we thought there was no fish in this lake but you could see them swimming all over the place they come right after a bait and then they just leave so there are fish down there and uh we haven't been here in the summer it's our first time here uh we had trouble finding some good weed lines uh finding this last spot we <laughs> found a hump that's supposed to be 12 feet deep but it's only two feet deep and uh found some weeds at least and i have not checked the tip-ups we got two tip-ups out there if there's anything on i'll let you know otherwise you can just watch this video great see you on the next lake.